Welcome back guys, today we're gonna start the gastrointestinal physiology so we're gonna start by the GIT hormones here we have a lot of hormone but we're gonna concentrate of about 12 hormone here uh, let's take an overview about that we have a gastrin which is stomach hormone for increase the secretion of HCL so much that in the main inhibitor hormone and GIT cholecystokinine or sometimes they said CCK uh, it's a genome for genome secretion for, for a bile secretion secretine for increase the secretion of pancreas uh, exocrine or pancreas and uh, glucose dependent insulin tropic is uh, exocrine also for a secretion and insulin secretion Motilin by its name for motility for the small intestine, VID or vasoactive intestinal polypeptide for increase the water and electrolyte secretion and relaxation of intestinal smooth muscle, like the same thing for nitric oxide, relaxation for the smooth muscle, and it's blame by control in achalasia. Ghrelin is the <coughs> hunger hormone secreted when you hunger. Uh, intrinsic factor for B12 absorption, gastric acid HCL from the parietal cell of the stomach, pepsin, which is the main uh, exocrine hormone from pancreas to activate the other pancreatic uh, secretion, bicarbonate of the last to alkalinize the stomach secretion. Uh, mainly secreted by the bronchial gland. So let's go from the beginning and talk in more detail. So the gastric, as we said, it is stomach hormone. So G for gastric, uh, secreted from the antrum of the stomach and duodenum. So in, well, what is function? It's function increasing the gastric secretion of HCL and increase growth factor uh, growth of gastric mucosa and gastric motility. So the gastric is specific for the stomach. It's secreted also from the duodenum, but work in the stomach, increase the secretion of the stomach, increase the acid secretion and mucosal growth and motility of the stomach. Uh, increase regulation increased by stomach distension when the stomach is distended the gastrin is more increases that means there is food in the stomach so I need more HCL to digest this food uh, also when the BH became higher that means there is something in the stomach so I have uh, the stomach have to secrete more HCL. Pagal stimulation by GRB gas releasing release in the diet or decrease the BH less than 1.5. If the BH decrease 1.5, uh, also increase the secretion of gastrin. Uh, we have some notes here about gastrin increased by Chronic use of proton bomb inhibitor uh, like uh, Zantac, Rantidine, or Pamutidine, the over counter uh, tabs, uh, also increased by social gastritis, like what H. pylori do, and finally, increased too much in gastrinoma or we call it Zollinger Ellison syndrome. So much that in the main inhibitor hormone in the GIT tract is decreased gastric secretion, gastric motility, pancreatic secretion, small intestine motility, decrease in insulin, decrease of glucagon also. There is no more mainly inhibiting everything. So much that in from D cell of pancreas and GI mucosa but mainly in the D cell of pancreas. Uh, increased by the acid and decreased by vagus stimulation. The vagus is parasympathetic and the parasympathetic is mainly activated for GIT. So when the vagus 
uh, stimulation decrease that mean I don't didn't need the GIT to work so incre increasing in uh, vagal decrease the secretion of uh, somatostatin inhibit secretion of various hormones encourage somatostasis also call it somatostasis everything stays on the side Octavitol is analog used to treat acromegaly, carcinoid syndrome, and variceal bleeding. Uh, CCK secreted from eye cell in duodenum and duodenum. It's mainly work in the gallbladder, and gallbladder secretion encourages the, the the bile to secrete it. So increase the bile to pancreatic secretion, increase the gallbladder contraction, and decrease gastric emptying and the increase the sphincter of odile relaxation so the main function at general we can say it is enhancing the duodenum work how by decrease the emptying of a stomach and let the duodenum work on the food on it so how the duodenum work on the food by the pancreatic secretion and the gallbladder secretion which open in the sphincter of odile in the second part of the genome. Uh, uh, also activated by the amino acid and fatty acid. When the amino acid or fatty acid present in the duodenum, they encourage CCK to secrete it. Act on neural muscarinic pathway to cause pancreatic secretion. Secreting from earth so we have a similar name or layer for for a cell that in that secretes the, these hormones so gastrin as we said g cell somatostatin b cell secretin s cell we have uh, some different for somatostatin cholecystokinin uh, somatostatin and from b cell and cholecystokinin from i cell Secretion from S cell, as we said, enhancing the pancreatic secretion like SPO3 to decrease gastric secretion and increase bile secretion. Also, nearly 10 to 50 cholecystokinin, but enhancing the SPO3. It is a part of pancreatic secretion at all. So, increased by acid. Or fatty acid in lumen of duodenum, also the same. Uh, increase, but but the, the secreting specialized for the SCO3 bicarbonate. So increasing bicarbonate naturalization gastric acid in, in duodenum, allowing the pancreatic enzyme to function. Uh, the pancreatic enzyme, like a pepsin, of uh, pepsinogen and amylase or lipase to work it works in the base or in the base media so if the stomach secretion reach the duodenum and still acid the the pancreatic secretion will not work in the duodenum so we have to use the secretin to alkalize the gastric output so, uh, glucose dependent insulin, insulinotrophic peptide from K cell, genome or duodenum. By its name, uh, it is responsible for secretion for insulin, but have also exocrine decrease the acid secretion from the stomach. Decre increased by fatty acid and amino acid and oral gl glucose. It's the same thing for secretion and cholecystokinin. Uh, also called gastric inhibitor peptide GIB. Oral glucose load increases insulin compared to IV equivalent due to GI secretion, GIB secretion. We have a GIB which is we call it oral phase when we have a glucose in the in, in our mouth that enhancing the insulin secretion from the endocrine from the pancreas so we call it oral phase uh, that's why when we give insulin IV 
the insulin did not read like when we give the insulin from orally. Okay, motilin, motilin as its name makes increase the motility of the stomach into if the small intestine sorry, uh, produced migrating motor complex MMSCS migrated motor complex increase the, the wavy contraction of the small intestine increasing in the fatty state uh, fasting state sorry fasting state increasing the motility so when you fasting the small intestine is empty so need more more movement movement to bring the next food coming but when you call or eating too much you need to decrease the motility because to, to give the small intestine time to digest and absorb the food motrin receptor agonist erythromycin and uh, agonist like erythromycin it is antiviral but work like uh, motilin receptor are used to stimulate intestinal paralysis so vib or vasoactive intestinal body the tide uh, it is parasympathetic it's discreet from parasympathetic in gangenia uh, sphincter gallbladder small intestine so increase intestine its function to increase intestinal water and electrolyte secretion and relaxation of intestinal smooth muscle and sphincter increase by distension and vagal stimulation and decrease by adrenaline receptor uh, VIBOMA or VIBOMA it means carcinoma increasing the VIB hormone like gastrinoma uh, non alpha non beta islet cell pancreatic tumor that secrete VIB associated with water area hypokalemia alkaloidia and wadha syndrome we call it wadha syndrome uh, increasing VIB uh, in the intestine that means more fluid going to the lumen that means the area when we lose the area we lose chloride we lose the potassium that's why we have a we will lose the chloride because the stomach will secrete more HCL that's hypochloremia chloridia uh, nitrous oxide, I know. Uh, its main function to relaxation of smooth muscle. Uh, if it's in a blood vessel, we can a dilated blood vessel, decrease the blood pressure. But here in GIT, relaxation, the smooth muscle, that means less motility. So it's again, it's the motility. Uh, lose of NO secretion in, in implicated in lower esophageal uh, sphincter tone of achalasia increase in lower esophageal. okay if we lose the NO in the esophagus that means the lower esophageal sphincter will not relax it. so that means there is difficulty in swallowing so the patient come to you and have difficulty with swallowing the liquid not the solid because the solid has the power to open the lower of the sphincter but the the so, uh, liquid cannot cross the lower of the sphincter that like when we we can differentiate the lower uh, achalasia and the uh, esophageal cancer dysphagia we can differentiate between them by starting in liquid or starting in solid and uh, achalasia started with the liquid and uh, and the uh, esophageal cancer started with the uh, solid uh, ghrelin as we said it's the hunger hormone uh, it is increase the appetite secreted by stomach and increasing in fasting state and decreased by food ghrelin like uh, Growling stomach and satiety in, uh, in uh, 
Hunger status, decrease in brother Willis syndrome, and decrease after gastric bypass surgery. Because decreasing the distension of the stomach, that the main main uh, benefit for gastric bypass surgery to decrease the gluten. Uh, intrinsic factor, as I said, it's for B12 reabsorption. It is uh, binding to B12 and uh, reabsorbs the B12 in the terminal area secreted by parietal cell in the stomach. So when is gastric bypass bypass in surgery here, like this one here up there? We have uh, decreasing in parietal cell, so we have to give a B12 supplement to the patient who had a gastric bypass surgery. Autoimmune destruction, parietal cell, chronic gastritis, and pernicious anemia also causing uh, decrease in uh, B12. Gastric acid, HCl, secreted from parietal cell of stomach, uh, decrease. Stomach pH make it more acid, increasing by histamine uh, or vagal stimulation, HCL, acetylcholine, uh, or gastrin increase all of this increasing the HCL and decreasing by somatostatin for sure and GIB prostaglandin also decreasing the secretion of gastrin. So. Uh, histamine blocker like omeprazole H2 blocker or somatostatin can take control of peptic ulcer. Pepsin uh, secreted from chief cell of stomach protein digestion, the main function. Uh, increased by vega stimulation, uh, acetylcholine or local acid. Pepsinogen inactive is converted to pepsin active in presence of H plus so the acid is the gastric secretion activated the pepsin to activate the other enzymes like uh, lipase or uh, amylase bicarbonate is created from mucosa cell mainly in the duodenum Branap glands also can secrete it in the stomach to make a balance in the stomach. Uh, naturalize the acid increased by pancreatic and biliary secretion with secretin. As we said before, secretin increases the secretion of CO3 uh, and activated by the amino acid and fatty acid, as we said before here fatty acid and amino acid in duodenum. Uh, trapped in the mucus that cover the gastric epithelium. So this by this image we can see the, the most of cell here with the parietal cell which which secreting the HCL and uh, here we have uh, deeper glandular gastric bit here with mucosa and submucosa and muscularis. And serosa, uh, uh, sorry, this is the mucosa layer, all of this in the mucosa layer, and here is submucosa layer, have blood supplies. 